Hello and welcome. <laughs> welcome back to Wretched. It's so weird. Are you hearing that 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 like whirring sound coming from from Germany? It's crazy. <laughs> At any rate, let's go back to San Francisco, uh, shall we? A Lutheran church that is having a faith and feminism conference with a speaker who is of the religion of ISIS. Oh boy. The woman who is the pastor of the church happens to be a transgender minister. Here she is. She's Megan Rohrer. I have to confess to you, I don't remember what transgender even, does that, you got, is that, you used to be, but now you're a, is that the deal? Both. So he, you're both. No. Do you, tra, transsexual, trans, somebody's, I'm not the only one confused. Uh, whatever, this is a woman who's, tra, man who's, this pastor is transgendered and ordained in the Evangelical Lutheran Church of... There's that sound again coming from Germany. Do you hear that spinning sound? It's, I'm telling you it's from Germany. Here is what the pastor person had to say about her church. Our Christian Lutheran feminist prayers and liturgy reach back into the storehouse of tradition to bring forth names as Mother, Shaddai, Sophia, Womb, Midwife, Shekinah, she who is. <laughs> they do so out of renewed insights into the nature of the gospel empowered by the risen Christ, Sophia. Ah, any effort to neuter God and turn he into a she, here's more. The church proclaims we are a diverse community standing firmly within the Christian tradition in order to re-image the divine by claiming her feminine persona. Firmly, I mean, duh, clearly with inside of the old Christian tradition that says God is a goyal. Well, I know what you're thinking. That's just the Evangelical Lutheran Church of America. You know, the, those even not all Lutheran synods, by the way. Missouri synod's still doing just fine. Got a little skirmish in there, but doing just fine. Wisconsin synod staying confessional. Association of Free Lutheran Churches, actually really, really impressive. But maybe you're saying, hey, the Lutheran Church of America, they've been on the skids for a long time. At least this type of craziness and shenanigans and antics isn't going on inside of an evangelical church. That's a church remaking an Usher song uh, about DJ's, DJ, DJ has got it, the, the disc jockey has us falling in love again. Now, Jesus has us falling in love again. And it's a huge crowd. And you know what? I can actually, I didn't call George Barna on this, but I, I did, I, I can actually just put two and two together and come up with this statistic. There isn't a single adult in the entire place. Okay, color me kooky, but here's what I'm thinking. I think I'd rather attend the Faith and Feminism Conference with the ISIS priestess. <laughs> Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, all right, skinny boy, 
That's pretty bad, but ha! At least they're not doing a song by Ozzy Osbourne. All the boys! <laughs> Let's get to today's Preacher Potluck, shall we? The Westminster Shorter Catechism asks this question. What do the scriptures principally teach? In other words, what's the Bible all about? And it answers in this way. It says, the scriptures principally teach what man is to believe concerning God and what duty God requires of man. And it's interesting to me that spiritual discernment intersects our lives in these same two ways. Spiritual discernment helps us understand first who God is, what we're to believe about him, and then it teaches us how we're to live on that basis, how we're to live in this world for his glory. And that's today's Preacher Paul. Seems to me like we could use just a little bit more of that there biblical discernment. This is Wretched.